Greetings and welcome to the latest edition of the Fortuna newsletter and Merry Christmas to you all. Well we've got a lot to talk about this week. First of all last Thursday at New Plymouth a very promising three-year-old filly Dame Margot Fontaine was very impressive in winning a maiden event at four, over 1400 metres. This was just her second race day start. We've always had a lot of time for this horse and uh, she was quite impressive in her win. She's uh, clearly a staying type and we do have New Zealand Oaks aspirations for her. She's got a bit to do yet, but as you'll see from the replay, it was a very nice effort indeed. Let's take a look at the last 300 metres of that race. Do play, homeward bound now, 300 metres left to go. And Prince Oz has a good kick here of a length and a half. Trying to rally second, Dame Margot Fontaine. And then came Jackson Road. It's Prince Oz now gobbled up by Dame Margot Fontaine. Dame Margot Fontaine, Matt Cameron had a horrid ride in the previous, but he gets home. Dame Margot Fontaine, a length and a... Then on Saturday at Trentham, we had uh, the, the, the very good fortune to have our classy two-year-old filly, Melody Bell, race in the Group 2 Wakefield Challenge Stakes. This is a $100,000 race, and it was only her second race. She'd been quite impressive in winning at Ruakaka on the 12th of October. Victory was denied. She did run third. She drew the outside barrier. Uh, she jumped a lot better than we would have liked. We were hoping to get a sit in behind the speed, but rider Cameron Lammers finished up three wide in the, in the lead. The effort told in the end, but she ran again third. And there's lots of positives in that. Black type for the pedigree page, a great thrill for her owners, prize money, of course. And she has qualified for the Caracan Million, uh, almost certainly. Uh, that race has been run on Sunday, the 29th of January. A lot of owners there, 16 members of the syndicate all together. Everybody had a great time uh, and it was certainly a, a very uh, joyous occasion. Recently, um, I was at the Ready to Run sales, that was in mid-November, and we finished up buying a really lovely Singapore-bound gelding. Um, I was looking for a horse to go to Singapore that would be more of a sprinter miler type. Uh, we had had a look at this horse earlier in the day. I didn't think I'd get him for our budget, but sometimes you get lucky and we got him actually under our budget. This horse is by Helmet, out of a Shamadale mare called Shamabelle. <coughs> Helmet, of course, was a very good Australian racehorse. He won four races as a two-year-old, including two group ones, and then trained on as a three-year-old to win the Caulfield Guineas at Caulfield in the spring, a race that generally is a good indicator of a very, a very, very good horse. Uh, Shama Bell herself was uh, a bit injury prone, uh, but had also had a very good race career. As you'll see from the photograph, this guy is uh, absolutely outstanding. We've nicknamed him Benji. He's an outstanding physical specimen. Shares are flying out the door very quickly. Reporting 75% sold, 6,500 for a 5% share. That includes all the Singapore travel costs. Uh, 3,250 for a 2.5% share, and just 1,300 dollars for a 1% share. If you'd like to get involved in a Singapore horse. As you know, we race in Singapore because the prize money is just excellent. Um, and we've got pretty high hopes for this guy. He's a genuine ready-to-run horse. Uh, he went to Tiakao Stud for 10 days after the, after the sales. But last Monday, he went back into work at Tiakao. Uh, we're anticipating him being, getting him to a trial in February and all going well. He should be on a plane to go to Singapore late March, early April 2017. Be quick, these shares won't last long. Finally, in closing, we are celebrating a bit of a milestone last week. On the 13th of September 2003, a horse that I own personally with a few mates won a race at Pukekohe. This was a horse called Capstan, and uh, she was trained by Tiakau Racing Stables. That was the first winner for John Galvin, trained by David Ellis and his team at Tiakau Racing Stables. And last Thursday, when Dame Margot Fontaine won her race at um, New Plymouth, that was the hundredth win over those 13 and a bit years. Wonderful achievement. 
23 of those winners have been for horses owned or shared in ownership by myself personally, and 77 for Fortuna. So congratulations to everybody that's been involved in, in ownership of our horses along the way. It's a great milestone. Um, congratulations to the Tiakau team, David and Karen, uh, and all the administration staff in the office there. The trainers we've had over the years, which has been Mark Walker, both here in New Zealand and in Singapore. Jason Bridgman, of course, and the current Tiakau team of Jamie Richards and Stephen Aldridge. Well done guys, and we're looking forward to the next 100 winners. Talk to you next time.